Howdy, I'm Moose, and I love booze and breakfast food. It's my mission to find the best brunches. So sit back and enjoy a mimosa with Moose. So here I am with a bottle of Boone's Farm, thinking I moved up in the world from slapping a bag, lakeside next to this smelly body of water in the middle of bump West Texas. Never been much of a wine guy, but this sweet strawberry nectar had me feeling all kinds of fancy. Stumbling into this hole in the wall between an art shop and a mobile store, I find myself at Nashville Urban Winery telling myself, why not? Started working in the service industry, so I had to know wine, but I never really wanted to know wine. So, National Urban Winery was a whole new world to me. Having found this place before they started brunch, I found myself finding new and interesting wines that didn't taste like the inside of Grandpa's shoe. Walking in, you see this pretty legit outdoor patio lounging spot, perfect for East Nashville hipster bocce ball, because, you know, people play that. But the couches are perfect for chilling for a local sports ball game and cheer for your local sports heroes to beat those crosstown rivals. When you walk in, there's no stopping the chill atmosphere. Sleek looking tables and chairs to set the chill mood with a solid playlist. And fingers crossed you might catch Tyler throwing on some baby making music. Boys to Men is his life. Oh my god, this looks so good. Yeah, this looks f dumb. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> I will say, someone who does not actively Instagram myself, I'm a scroller. This is very Instagram worthy. Mm, how's that skillet? I don't know. I mean, the pierogi. Mm. Wait, what's in the middle? So we got bacon cheese. Let's see what kind of cheese it is. Provolone, white cheddar, mozzarella, bacon on the inside. So it's essentially grilled cheese. Okay. Then they throw an egg on top. Take another ridiculously big bite for the camera. All of it. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Mm. Cheers, girly. <laughs> Cheers. I'm so happy I'm here. Yeah. It's a pretty chill spot. Look, you can have wine in a glass and yeah. fancy it up, or you can pop yeah. up in a can and like chill. Uh -huh. I love it. That's so cool. Yeah. I can't believe I haven't been here. I'm so happy. One thing I tend to do is just walk around and go on adventures. That's just code for me being nosy and getting into shit when I get hammered. So I slung my chair around and wandered around back to the tank. I immediately envisioned having one of these massive tanks in my house filled with chocolate milk just to have on tap, but come to find out these storage tanks are for some of their wine. Then something pops up in the corner of my little lot. Some stairs that look like they go down into an underground casino. Unfortunately, this just a shit ton of wine. Last time I was in the basement in East Nashville, it wasn't nearly this clean. So I sniffed around to see what treats were in store and really had me going for one of those shotguns. That's that shit you don't do. Don't do that. Tell me the difference between Prosecco and Champagne. Champagne is a region of France, just outside of Paris. Prosecco is what the grape used to be known as, now the grape's called Glera. It is a small region that makes sparkling wine in Italy, so it's super simple. Champagne is sparkling wine in France, Prosecco is sparkling wine in Italy, Cava is sparkling wine in Spain, and everywhere else in the world is just known as sparkling wine. The California sparkling wine is just simply known as Cal. It's just as well, okay. Though people kind of just give. It's like suck it, you can't take nothing. Appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, this is Mimosas with Moose. Cheers.